Hi everyone, Jenny Dodansky here, Wormwise. Um, I've got my mate Lamb Lamb here today. <laughs> Please don't judge me for having pet weathers, but we wanted to have a chat to you today about Barber's Pole Worm and Lambs. Um, so Barber's Pole is, or Homonchus, is pretty well known to farmers in the North Island and it's becoming more prevalent in the South Island as things warm up. Um, it can be a real risk because it sucks blood uh, from the wall of the lamb's fourth stomach and it can build up to high numbers um, quite suddenly and quickly. Barber's pole doesn't have the same appetite suppressing effects as the other worms and it also doesn't cause scouring. So you can have lambs that look absolutely fine one day and then boom the next day uh, they're looking weak and sad um, from blood loss that you hadn't noticed previously. So, yeah, it's really normal when we see lambs um, do this in the summer to presume that we're dealing with barber's pole and um, whip out the long-acting drench. And, of course, then you tell your neighbour that you've got it and pretty soon all the sheep in the district are flooded with drench, um, whether they needed it or not, right? There are a bunch of other things that can cause lambs to suddenly be weak, pale, panting and, and to die, Viral pneumonia and leptospirosis are great examples. It's really common for these to cause um, a rash of deaths that then stop by themselves. And it's normal too, eh? You get the lambs in, you drench them, one or two more die. Um, the drench must have worked, right? They may have been going to stop dying by themselves. So if you've got dead lambs, a quick post-mortem um, is a really good way to uh, figure out what's going on. Um, but and we'll try and cover that in another video but um, in the live animal um, there is something you can do uh, farmers often talk about um, sheep with barber's pole worm having pale gums and the gums are the worst place to look at right they're often quite pale um, lamb lamb here he's perfectly healthy um, but his gums actually look pretty pale and particularly if you look at the dental pad there at the front um, that can be quite white because it's got cartilage straight there under the skin so it can look pretty pale. The best place, excuse me, can you go away please? The best place to look is actually the membranes around the eye. Um, if I just gently put some pressure on Lamb Lamb's upper eyelid here, push down and then pull that, pull that lower eyelid down, I can see sorry you can't probably <laughs> but I can see that his um, eye membranes are a nice um, salmon pink color in lambs with um, barber's pole that membrane will be a, a pale pink or a white color when they've got uh, viral pneumonia it'll often be a kind of an angry purple color and when they've got lepto it might be yellow or sort of muddy looking so looking at this eye membrane here just that lower lower membrane there nice and pink and much better place to look than the gums. So hopefully you don't get caught this summer with sick lambs hanging back in gateways when you go to shift them. But if you do, checking those eye membranes is a quick check that you can do for Barber's Pole. So before you reach for the drench gun, ask what am I actually dealing with here?